Hello, I'm Captain Flash in the Pan, brain surgeon to pigeons. Today on Board Deck and Dice we are looking at Best Treehouse Ever from Green Couch Games. Best Treehouse Ever is a drafting game and it does some very clever things with scoring. So if we talk about scoring first, each of the three rounds you're going to be putting up to five houses into your, uh, five rooms into your treehouse and they will be of one of the six colours here. And in a basic game, uh, each player scores one point per house of each colour in their house. But of course, if that were the case, everyone would score the same points. So the person who gets the most also gets a bonus. However, you can also play with these game changer cards. There's two that give rooms of two points per room of that type. And there's some that let you uh, cancel out the score of a colour. So whoever uh, is in the lead at the time or randomly decided at the first time will choose one of the game changers. So let's say I, I've done this and I've got lots of red, so I take this card. The next player takes this card and so on and so forth. What happens is it comes back the other way. So this player will choose first. They might say purple's not going to score. The next player might say, well, I want green to score loads. And then the player before me might go, ah, you've got loads of red. That's not scoring this round. And then I'm left to decide which one's going to score double this round. So it creates a kind of sub game where you're looking at the scoring and you're looking at what everyone else has done and making a decision whether it's better for you to double up something you've got in your treehouse or to cancel out what someone has got in theirs and whether you'll get that chance depending on turn order, which is a really neat little system. On top of that, cards that I've left over here, let's go get them. Such an amateur. Uh, you can also play with these optional mission cards. Mission cards give you points for achieving certain configurations in your treehouse. So if you have a blue, red and purple next to each other, you get three points. If you have a green, a yellow with a brown on top, you get four points. And there are various ones of these that give points for different layouts. So how do you actually build a treehouse? Well, this is done through drafting. Your draft, uh, each player will get six cards and they will draft. Um, one each time they pass round with the last card being discarded. But there are rules about building a treehouse. Firstly, you don't build straight on like that, you follow the middle line. And whenever you build on the left of that line, you move this over to the left. And whenever you build on the right of the line, you move it over to the right one. If you build in the middle, it stays put. You can also only build um, a colour when it's touching another colour, unless it's the first time it's played. So if I play this blue here, which I can legally do, that's fine. Uh, the tree has starts to lean and then I can play this brown here, which is fine. Now I cannot play greens anymore because they can't touch the green at all. Um, and you play like that for uh, three rounds of drafting scoring at the end of each round with the game changers and whoever scores the most points wins. Uh, best Treehouse Ever is a neat little game. The drafting, the artwork, I mean there's some cool, sometimes I just choose a room not for strategic reasons but because it's just a cool little picture on there and I want that room in my house. Uh, I know my son does that as well, like which kid isn't going to want a zip line in their treehouse. However, there's some neat things there. Do you try and balance your colours? So whatever happens in, this, in the game changer scoring round, you're gonna score lots of points, or do you go all out for one and hope that you know it will work out in the end? It's a good take on a drafting game. It's an attractive game to play. It's easy to explain. Um, I really like this as a drafting game. I've done a reviews of Sushi Go and Walk on Fire, which are kind of your more basic drafting games. I would put this with the scoring, there's a little bit more to it. There's a little bit more complexity. And certainly I like the ability to be able to play more simply or more complicatedly, which is a great sentence, um, depending on if, what age you're playing with. So I think this is a good game. The intimidation factor is low. 
the instructions are clear and well done with the ability to make it even less intimidating if you want, if you're playing with younger children, and the game is a lot of fun. So if you're looking for drafting with a little bit more, with some cool artwork that works with kids and with game group, then I can give you a uh, it's well worth checking out the best trios ever. I'm going to go do brain surgery on some pigeons and I will see you next time. Thanks very much.